Good afternoon. The British academic Matthew Hedges has been sentenced to life in prison by a court in the United Arab Emirates after he was charged with spying last month. Our correspondent Isabel Kumar joins me now for more details on that story. Isabel, uh, what reaction has there been, if any, from the British government? Well, um, as you know, British, British Foreign Secretary Jeremy Hunt has intervened on behalf of uh, Matthew Hedges previously uh, with the UAE. Now, he was quick to release a statement when this news of the sentencing came out. And he said that there will, could well be repercussions for the relationship between the UK and the UAE. He said that he was deeply shocked and disappointed and that he urged the UAE to reconsider. Well, Theresa May, the British Prime Minister, was taking questions during PMQs in the British Parliament. Parliament, and she was asked a question on Matthew Hedges and she outlined the government's uh, next steps. L let's listen to what she had to say, Tokes. My right honourable friend, the Foreign Secretary, is urgently seeking a call with the Foreign Minister, Abdullah bin Zayed. During his visit to the UAE on November 12th, he raised the issue with both Crown Prince Mohammed bin Zayed and the Foreign Minister. And uh, I can assure my honourable friend and other members that the Foreign Office will remain in close contact with Matthew, his family and his lawyer. We will continue to do all we can to support them as they consider the next steps and we will continue to press this matter at the highest level with the Emiratis. And um, now, Matthew Hedges' wife actually appeared on Euronews <laughs> last month, and at that point she said that she felt the UK government wasn't doing enough. She's now reacted, saying that she wants the British government to take a stand. Now, obviously, Matthew Hedges denies the charges, and his family say that he was forced to sign a confession that was in Arabic when he actually doesn't speak Arabic. Um, now, this life sentence carries a maximum of 25 years in prison. He's got 30 days to appeal the verdict, apparently. And um, it's all because uh, Matthew Hedges is a PhD student at Durham University in the UK. He is carrying out his PhD. He was uh, conducting interviews in the UAE for his thesis um, that was looking into UAE military development uh, in the post-Arab Spring. Okay, and since he was arrested in May, there have been quite a few concerns about his health, haven't there? Well, that's absolutely right. And his wife uh, also in her statement said that, you know, that Matt, she says, was shaking when he heard the verdict uh, and that she was really scared for him. They don't know where they're taking him or what will happen now. She said that he has had panic attacks, attacks is suffering from depression. There's also been reports that he was suicidal when he was held in solitary confinement, which was for up to five months, we're hearing, Turks. Okay, our correspondent Isabel Kumar, thank you for looking at that story for us.